All right, good afternoon. This is the end of week update. Sorry about that. It was very loud and long. That was from TradingView notifications. This is the end of week uh, portfolio update for the ASX. So you would have noticed if you if you do follow the channel and you've been seeing the changes that I've been making recently, I have redone the playlists. So it used to be no playlists, and now I've actually got particular playlists for you know, different topics, so you can easily find what you're looking for. But I just want to go into how uh, my two, I guess these like longer term plays that I've got, Bendigo and RAC. So Bendigo was up a little bit for the week overall, closing at 10.22. And then RAC, uh, not up for the week, but it closed slightly up today, up about 1.3% at 3.12. So that's the unrealized p &Ls there. I didn't take any day trades either. I'll just close this out. I just, a couple of talking points uh, being bet. Now bet, uh, I guess for a longer hold, uh, since I've really started looking into it, I've, I've missed a couple of entries, so I didn't chase and I haven't, really been chasing here as well. That probably would have been a nice entry as well and pull back. We'll see what it wants to do here. I think it got to over 120, 121, I think was the high. Let me actually check that out properly. Yeah, 121 was the high. So bet still remains on the watch list for a longer term play. 5GG as well. I was going to click the space bar because I'm so used to spark, but that's not. Yeah, so 5GG as well, it's uh, pulled back a little bit. So I'll be looking to get into that as well. Uh, we'll bring up RAC. This is a longer term play. I'm going to do this at 283 February. So it's, that's pulled back and this, this week. It's, it's found a little bit of support down here at the low three. So... We'll see what it wants to do next week. I continue to hold this. Bendigo, you know, the banks. Well, I guess the bigger banks. It's not. The bigger banks um, are talking about dividends and things like that. So they got a lift today. Bendigo was pretty flat. It's been nice. It did sort of come back down to 950 earlier last month, sort of mid March, after it shot off in February. To 1120 odd, so things were running red hot, but uh, dividend came out. It really wasn't too bad on this. I mean, I'm a small holder, so it's not really. Um, I've, I've got some cash sitting on the sidelines, and it's um, still a bit wary of where to go, but we'll wait and see. I thought there's going to be more of a pullback in the Aussie market, but the uh, ASX 200 closed to 7,000, so and that's if we go to the weekly. So we're getting there. So it's 72, yeah, 7,200. Back to where we were in. Yeah. So it was, yeah. It's the 24th of March. 24th of Feb, sorry, that was the big day. So, anyway, uh, yeah, so bet 5GG. So, RAC and Bendigo, I'm just still holding those. Uh, Kogan. Kogan was the play. See, I was watching intraday wise, I wasn't really watching this. I'll bring up the one hour, I guess you can see it just sort of. Set a nice. Nice run, really. I mean, it's been hiding and it was up like seven hundred percent. So, so it's closed. Uh, from a day trading perspective, I don't think I'll update this video on that. I didn't actually take any trades. I, I did check out. Uh, I did check out Kogan. I was watching FMG. That didn't really want to do much. I was watching Afterpay, Zip, Airtasker. There were a couple others as well. But uh, nothing really, you know, held up. RNU, a gold miner, just didn't really have any follow through. But that's it. That's the video, guys. Thank you for watching. And a week update.
and I uh, hope everyone has a lovely weekend as well.